Hey, it's Jamie Ingle of The Right Ingle. Um, happy Friday wins for the week. So this week I had a very interesting experience. This has not happened to me yet. I have a producer who has two of my scripts and they found a, an actor who's really big in the Latino community and he was interested in playing the lead role in my rom-com, which is currently set in North Carolina in my mind. Now, what I like to do with stories that are not specific to a location is I have a location in mind, but I don't actually put that in my screenplay because I don't want a producer to read the script and go, oh, well, we don't want to shoot in North Carolina, so move on to the next one. Um, so what I do is I just describe it and I research it based off of where I see it happening, but I never mention the city, I never mention the state, uh, I never mention a location by name unless it's critical for the story. And that's important. If it's critical for the story, then you have to make that decision in advance. But for me, I haven't found for the rom-coms that I'm currently writing, I have not come across that. So anyway, I was asked to change the location and um, for one um, actor, and then I was asked to increase a um, a part for another very well-known actor who was also considering. So <laughs> I spent two days rewriting. The first day I switched the story to um, Chihuahua, Mexico. And then about halfway through the story, the producer was like, um, can we do it in Puerto Rico? Because we, um, we actually have several actors through this talent agency who they would be better suited for that location. And I was like, of course I can. I'm only halfway through the edits, but I would love to start over. So I did. Um, I started over. I rewrote the whole story, which was great because I was able to do some fine tuning and some edits and rework some of the dialogue and um, be more selective with the dialogue by researching phrases from the region and um, just making it more rich and more alive on, on the page. So long story short, um, I sent it to the producer, he sent it to the agency, and the next day we received the letter of intent, or letter of interest, I'm not even sure which one it is, but we got a letter, guys, from the actor that he has um, committed himself to this project. So, the moral of this story is, if you want to get paid and you want to sell your work, don't be married to it. If you want to do whatever you want, and you want it to be the exact thing that you want it to be, then I recommend you don't try to sell your work. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure you guys have better luck than I do in that area. But I just wanted to share this with you today because I thought it was kind of cool. Um, never have had to do this before. This was my first experience. So I hope it helps you guys out. Um, really the big takeaway is if you can, keep your locations as broad as possible so that a producer can envision their um, really where they're going to get their tax breaks, <laughs> where they're going to be able to pull their actors and their resources the best, and um, that they don't push your script aside because of the location when it just might be the exact script they're looking for. All right, see you next time.